Good morning, babies, and welcome to Simply Stacy, where the joy of the Lord is our strength. Well, babies, I want to tell you this morning that God loves you. God loves you. I always say this at the end of the video because God wants me to impress on you that he loves you. Most people think that God doesn't love them because of whatever they're going through. They're angry. They're mad. They're frustrated. But babies, God want to say to you this morning, he loves you. He loves you. And I do too. I love you. Well, babies, today I want to talk about vision. Write the vision. Make it plain. You know, without a vision, he said his people perishes. Babies, get a vision for your life. And for most of all, make sure it's the vision that God has given you. Not something birthed out of yourself or the enemy or anything else. Because there's two paths that we can take in life at any given time. And the decision that we make, there's two choices that you can make. You can then go the path for God or the path for the enemy. You know, and listen at your own flesh. So babies, get a vision for your life. You know, just living the way that other people wanted to see you live or how they feel you should live and it's not a God-given vision for your life, you're going to perish. So babies, think about what you want to do with your life. Write it down. Make it play. It doesn't matter what age you are. It don't matter what's done happened in your life. It don't matter what you don't lost. It don't matter where you at right now. Think about where you want your life to go. You know, in the business world, they tell you, write a mission statement and write a vision with your business plan. You know, what is the mission you want to accomplish with your life before you leave this earth? And around that mission that you want to accomplish, write a vision of how you're going to execute that thing out. Babies, ask God what it is that he wants you to do. And as I have stated in previous videos, Wherever your vision is or whatever it is that God wants you to do, that is where your wealthy place is. That's where your peace is. That's where your joy is. That's where your love is. That's where your happiness is. Everything that you're seeking for, once you find that God-given thing that God wants you to do in this earth, you will find that that you've been looking for. Everything is attached to that. You know, so wherever you're at right now, whatever your this is, that is what's waiting for you. Wherever that vision is going to take you at. Babies, I love you. I love you and so does God. You know, there's so many people that is hurting and wounded out here and, you know, just going through different trials and tribulations in their life at this moment. But hold on to God. Hold on to God. Hold on to his unchanging hand. Know that he's here with you. Know that he's here to help you through every situation that you're going through. He said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He never seen the righteous begging for bad. Babies, God loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Mm, words can't express how much he loves us. But a lot of time we separate ourselves from God. We disconnect from God and think that God has left us. He has never left us. He's always an ever-present help. We disconnect from him by the decisions that we make, the attitudes that we have, the words that we speak, the things that we do. We disconnect from God. We separate from God. He says sin separates him from us. It separates him. So babies, God is there. He loves us. He never leaves us nor forsake us. I don't care what it is that you're going through today. It will change. Seasons come, seasons go. Things change. This will not be until death to you. You will come out with victory at the end of whatever you're going through. So babies, today I want you to sit down or at your job or whatever you're doing today at some point. Think about the mission that you want to accomplish in your life before you leave this earth. And write a vision and make it plain. Make it plain. I know today I've been talking a lot of little different things. But when you're prophetic, it's stuff that be coming in your spirit. And, and you just have to speak it out. And in my spirit, just for the last couple of days, even as I'm talking on here today, you know, a lot of people are really going through. And they're tired. But God has your answer. Seek God. Question him. And he will answer you. 
He will answer the questions that you have. Be patient and seek God. Don't get angry with God. Don't get angry with God. What tickles me and what gets me funny is people get mad at God, but they don't get mad at the devil. Why? People don't even want to acknowledge that it's the devil. But they get so angry. God, why you do this? Even people that don't even really believe in God, they'll blame God. Why is it always God? There's another enemy out there that wants to try to take you out and attack you. Do you get mad at him? So don't get mad at God. God loves us. He loves us with an unconditional love. Babies, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, babies. It's going to be all right. God is with you, sweeties. He is with you, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you, and he loves you, and so do I. Smooches, and have a wonderful day, sweeties.